it going guys? Uh, today I'm going to be uh, installing, installing my uh, MGW short shifter kit on uh, my Camaro SS. So this is for the T56 F body, um, 6 speed. So this is my 2000 Camaro SS. I don't know if you guys have seen this one before. It's been on the channel a few times, but uh, I don't really have to do much to it. Um, and the legacy has been kind of taking up a lot of my time with mods, so I do want to eventually get to this and start doing more stuff. I want to do like a cam swap and um, valve springs, retainers, and stuff like that. Um, but my dad got me this MGW shifter, uh, which I mean the the stock Hurst one isn't terrible. Let's see, it's just. It's a good shifter. Like I really like the knob I got, which is a Hurst knob as well. But like the throw is just ridiculously long. Like that's you know third to fourth, second, or is all the way down there. So it makes it a little bit difficult to you know like when you're racing to you know grab gears um, really quickly because you have so much throw. It sometimes you'll you know you miss a gear. Um, it just it, really kind of sucks for that so um, especially for drag racing and drifting or anything else like that I need to shift quickly I don't I can't have this long ass throw so first thing we got to do um, take out the whole center console we just do it all from inside the car here so I pop out this console take the knob off um, and we should be able to get to the top of the shifter assembly from there uh, let me go over some of the stuff it all came with. I'll show you guys. All right, so this is really pretty much everything it came with. Um, this this uh, shaft here just kind of slides out. You can loosen these, um, and you can actually trim down this edge if you want to make um, this a little bit shorter. Um, I'm just gonna leave it how it is. I mean, I'm sure you know every, everybody says this is the best shifter to get for a T56, um, or especially you know an F body, which. This one has a little bit of customization. You can, I think you can clock this in a couple different ways, and you can shorten or, uh, this rod. So it's actually pretty good for people doing like LS swaps and stuff. Um, but yeah, it just came with uh, some washers, bolts to bolt it onto the trans, and some RTV. I'm assuming to seal it on the bottom. It all came all pre-greased and and everything. So um, let's get that uh, center console out. And start going from Looks there. Looks like we got some. I think they're they look like, like either 10 or 12 mil bolts, but we got one down in there, underneath the ashtray. We got two back here, um, and then these two little. I think they're 8 mil right here to hold this center section on. Um, this actually might separate if I take these off here. I think this top section right here will separate, and I can leave this part, and I won't have to actually take those out, but. I'm just going to start taking some stuff apart, get the shift knob off. Uh, it's on there pretty good. So, uh, let's see if I can just get access. Because really all you need to do is get access to the top of the transmission. And it'd be four bolts right Really there. hard to get off, so I didn't really film it. <laughs> so I ended up, I put some thread tape on here to hold it on. Because it's um, there's brass threads in there. But yeah, it's uh, it was pretty tough. So, I'm going to start taking some of this stuff apart. They're actually a 7 millimeter. Or it might be something standard, but I'm just gonna pop those out. All right, let's see how nasty it is underneath this thing. Oh, I think there's actually a yeah, there's a wire connector for the uh, the old cigarette lighter. Hold on a sec. So just a little plug there for the back of the uh, cigarette lighter, and then there's this little light here, which mine's been burnt out forever, so I just pulled that out. Um, so from here, we need to get this boot off, which looks like mine's already missing a bunch of the bunch of the boot bolts. But you know, you guess what you get with a used car that's you know 20 years old or so. This is the 2000s, so what is it, 18 years old? But uh, looks like I might need to. I don't know if I could just pull this off. Uh, I gotta do some investigating and see if I need to have this whole console out to do this or not. So yeah, I was right. Uh, there's bolts are tucked down way on the sides. Um, it's just missing some of the ones in the front which aren't that necessary. So uh, I'm going to take out all these 10 mils. So we got two back here. There's two, one over here. 
one on the back side of here and I'm gonna loosen those up and then kind of see how it goes if it's loose you know, or not. Don't forget there's a second cigarette lighter plug right there. Just like that she's free. So there's no way I'm gonna be able to film and get this thing out over the damn e-brake here so give me a second here and I'll get this guy out. A whole lot easier. I'm just gonna move this thing off to the side and I can just pull the carpet back and get to the seven mil bolts. There's one there, one there, and there's like four of them. There's supposed to be like like six or eight of them, but mine's missing some, so it needs a little trick. I don't actually have to, because this thing is not fit out of here, especially with these bucket seats. Sorry it's hard to film a lot of this stuff, because I mean, I'm by myself, so um, I got the boot all disconnected. I, now I need to take these, I think they're 12 mil, 12 or 13, maybe 14, I don't know. I'm gonna test it uh, and take those out, and then I can get, should be able to get this boot off over this thing. All right. There you go. That guy over there. I don't need that anymore. And we should be able to pop this guy off. I'm gonna need two hands for this. All right. Well, there she is. So you can see this is the back of the T56. Um, we just need to take these bolts off here. I'm pretty sure they're. Uh, looks like they're also 13 mil, just like these were. Just weird sizes on this car. But pop that guy off, and we should be able to put the new one on. Looks like this guy is RTV'd on here pretty good. Um, I'm gonna have to try to pop it off, maybe pry it with a screwdriver or something. It's a lot longer than I thought it would, but I got it off. So basically, what I did, since this is glued on, there's not really anywhere to like pry it off from. So what I did was actually I took this giant extension and I put it down here next to the side, and I, there's a little lip right there, and I I pried it up that way and it broke the RTV. So, finally got it out. So now all it's left to do is to clean up the edge here, get all the old RTV off. Uh, I'm gonna clean it with some brake clean so the RTV sticks, and we'll put the new one on. Cleaned up. Um, now all it's left to do is I'm gonna put just a little bit of RTV around the, around the whole rim. Um, you don't need a whole lot because this squish is almost completely flat. So, uh, we just use this little tool it came with. Um, and it also came with new bolts too, so that's nice. And we'll just pop it in. All the RTV I'm gonna do, uh, I just put a little tiny bead around it and then I kind of smooth it out with my finger so you know it gets everywhere. And then just kind of make sure there's no excess kind of hanging down inside the transmission like that because you don't want to get anything in there. Um, so now we should be able to pop this guy on. And then it has its own bolts so with its own wa uh, washers and lock washers as well, so it's pretty nice. Um, I'm just going to snug this up, let it dry for about 10 minutes or so, and then tighten it the rest of the way down. Then we get to kind of put in the shifter shaft thing there. Uh, MGW recommends you just put it basically to that line right there. You can cut this shorter if you want this to be shorter, but I'm just going to do it like this. It already feels amazing. so. And start putting stuff back together. Little, uh, dust shield boot thing. Um, it just, I think you can cut a hole in it if you want and put it underneath it, but I'm just kind of draping it over like that and it'll be fine. I have the actual shift boot that goes over it anyway, so. Plug in all our little connectors again. Get all this stuff situated. There. That one goes to the other cigarette lighter. Gotta put this guy up through the ashtray. Just gotta put these bolts in here, put the ashtray back in. Now I should be able to put my knob on, which, holy crap, look how much shorter this thing is already. That just looks absolutely ridiculous. It feels so good. I can't wait to put a knob on it and see how it feels. Alright, let me get these tight real quick. I like to throw a little thread tape on there, um, just to give it a little bit of help, you know, threading on and sealing, because I've had my shift knobs come off, like, come loose before. Um, right there. Perfect. Wow. Holy crap, that feels amazing. Yeah, now I know why everybody talks about these, uh, 
these shifter because I mean the the uh, MGW shifter kits because wow it's just it's just like butter smooth I mean I have to go drive the car but you guys can see like the <laughs> night and day difference so let me get all this stuff cleaned up and we'll take it for a drive no, I think. if you guys can see me or not um, hopefully this isn't a giant fail as far as the camera is concerned but let's uh, let's give this thing a shot. the car. Oh boy. 